Okay, so now we're looking at the inner ear. So this is just a large version of the inner ear. Uh, so those ossicles from the middle ear, as the tympatic membrane vibrates, as sound waves hit it, it's going to vibrate those ossicles, which is going to vibrate into our vestibule here. Uh, and those, those sound waves come into the cochlea, which is this kind of snail-like structure over here. Uh, inside that is your cochlear ducts, so you can see those holes there. Okay. Uh, on the other side, so we have that vestibulocochlear nerve. Uh, so you have two branches of the vestibulocochlear nerve, the cochlear branch and the vestibule branch. Uh, of course, the cochlear branch goes to the cochlea. The vestibular branch goes over to the vestibule. Our bony labyrinth is kind of surrounding layer here uh, of all these bones that surround it. Okay, you have your semicircular canals. Uh, on this side of it. So our semicircular canals, uh, I think of them kind of as an X, Y, and Z axis. Uh, so it's what's giving us our coordination. So if you get vertigo or something like that, it's a problem with this part of the inner ear. Uh, the bony labyrinth is actually made up of these membranes here on the inside. We've got three distinct regions of these membranes here. They're kind of swollen parts of that membrane themselves. You have the saccule, the utricle, and the ampulla.